There's a thin line between love and hate. Today's friends, tomorrow's enemies. Things we see today, we've seen them before. They've happened today. They happened yesterday. They will happen again in future. But as they say, once beaten, twice shy. Gugume nyamba maga mozi ndi tsoga. Koma gugume nyaga wili ndi itunduwe jitziru. We have moved round and round in circles of the same problems. It is time for us to rise up and fix our country. No foreigner will fix our country. No Westerner will bring solution to our problems. I loved it when Malawians were known worldwide as hard workers. But I hate it when slowly Malawians have become recipients of even the very same things they could manage to get for themselves. I loved it when Malawians were well known to be peaceful. I hate it when violence is what is being identified with us today. Yes, I loved it when the educated people were the shining example in our community. But I hate it to discover that they're the ones that have been plunging this country into poverty through theft in their offices. Talking about theft, oh yes, we love it when the anti-corruption bureau strengthened the anti-corruption drive. But of course we hate it when the cases drag and drag and drag forever. Of course we loved it when they arrest the culprits on a Friday. But we hate it when they release them on a Monday and that's it. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, if the resources that have been plundered by politicians and civil servants since our independence were put into the right initiatives, just like Singapore, China, India, Malawi would have developed. I love it when Malawians drive Porsche cars, dress really good, live in mansions, use the most expensive perfumes. But I hate it when at the end of the day you mention Malawi, everybody says they come from that poor country. It is time for us to remind each other that this world is not ours. We have only borrowed it from our children and we will need it to give it back. If our parents were so careless and so selfish, we wouldn't have found the country in the state we found. Let us encourage our children to learn how to create wealth and stop pretending to be who they are not. Let us rewind and come again with this life. Let us strive to create jobs for our children. Let us encourage our children to learn how to create wealth and stop pretending to be who they are not. Let us build communities that promote the needs of boys and girls simultaneously. It is time to teach our children about manufacturing of basic needs, sugar, soap, bread, fertilizer, cement, and many other things in the ways of one hero, Kondwani Ngwira, direction. It is better than letting them learn about grasshoppers and frogs. I mean, I love it when Malawians take interest in manufacturing, but I hate it when in the local market their products are looked down upon. Our farmers in Dover grow wheat, yet our bread-making companies prefer to import their wheat flour. Our farmers in Sangano produce the best quality of potatoes and tomatoes and other vegetables. But our chain stores and hotels still import from South Africa. What a shame. Well, I love it when international organizations would want to financially assist Malawi government. But I hate it when the officials in the ministries and embassies demand to have something for themselves, putting themselves first before the country. We shall.